Hey friends, we are going to have such a fun time today in this video because you know I'm back with another Thread Up Rescue Box unboxing. You know I love buying boxes from Thread Up to resell in my eBay store and Poshmark closet. So let's open this box up. I'm in a good mood today for some reason, you know? Okay, they always give you the top covered in the thread up polka dot tissue paper and they always give you your invoice. This is the mixed women's clothing box. It's 25 items for $60 plus $5.99 shipping. So I love that it keeps my cost of goods really low. If you're new here, I'm so glad you found my channel. Welcome, I'm Quenby. I'm a part-time reseller. I'm a full-time psychotherapist. And guess what? I have another channel all about mental health. It's called The Grateful Therapist. It's a new project in the last few months, so I would love your support over on that channel. I've been reselling for almost 10 years on eBay, a couple of years on Poshmark, and on my channel you're going to find all that great reseller content like thrift hauls, unboxings, and all sorts of educational videos on reselling. So make sure you're subscribed with the little bell turned on. Now I have to be honest and tell you my first reaction is that this looks like a small box. I order these boxes all the time, usually one or two a month, so I have an entire unboxing playlist on my channel here so you can binge watch unboxings if you're like me and you like to do that sort of thing. But this box looks kind of small. It's like, it just doesn't look like there's not much in here. So let's see, this is cute, whatever this is. The first thing I'm pulling out is great. <gasps> this is a really unique piece. So this is the brand J Crew. It's a size medium and I guess it's factory because it has those little dots and you know, that's fine. This is a sweater. It's a navy crew neck sweater, but look at the back. The back is made out of like a button down shirt material, like a pinstripe button down shirt material. Um, it's got a little bit of fuzzies on it. So like it definitely needs like a little sweater shave, a little freshening up. If for some reason you're new to thread up boxes and you haven't bought many yourself or you haven't watched many videos, Anything can end up in a thread up rescue box. It's called a DIY box. So thread up didn't take it for some reason. It might have damage. They might not, you know, um, it might not be in season. They might not like that brand or style, or maybe it was on their site and it sat for too long without selling. So they put it in a box. You just never know. I love this. I don't know this brand. Do you guys? Skylar and Madison. Sometimes if I'm being a really great video editor i'll pop up on the screen if i learn about a brand or comps but if you know anything leave it in the comments it's so helpful i love this this is so up my alley it's like a long uh tunic top um but it has that like chambray color like a denim color stripe in it and then it's got a raw hem it's very like free people-y so I love a thread up box because I find stuff for myself and my family and they're just fun. But I am hoping that I can make back my 65 bucks by selling stuff on Poshmark and eBay. So um, I'll make a pile of the stuff that I think are going to help me make that money back. Oh my gosh, I love this. Look at this, you guys. It's all embroidered. So friends that have been watching my channel and following along my journey know that I live in Northern California. I'm a total boho girl. I love anything crochet, lace, romantic, embroidery, ethnic prints. And this is like, this is like all embroidered. So let's see what this is. It's Meadow Rue by Anthropology, And I love when on the tag it says Anthropology, So you don't have to do all this guessing. I know Meadow Rue is a brand um, sold at Anthropology. But sometimes you don't know, so I love when they put it on there. This is like a tank top, but it's heavily embroidered. Oh my God, look at the colors. Kind of looks like the colors I have on now, right friends? Like 
blues and greens. Oh, I love it. I love it. Now I'll say this looks, I'll let you know about the condition because that's a really important part of this, right? Um, this looks a little, I don't know, it's white. I don't see any flaws, holes or stains. I just don't know if it looks super like new. And you know what? Maybe it'll be flawed and then I get to keep it. I'll put that in my good pile because I love that piece. Pulling out some denim, which makes me so excited. So one of the awesome things about life is that I live in Northern California. It's beautiful. I'm in Sonoma County, so I'm in wine country. It's just a gorgeous place to live when we're not having wildfires, right, friends? Um, but my thrift stores are expensive. So denim at my Goodwill is $10. $10 for a pair of jeans, so as much as I love to sell denim in quarter four, I am not buying a lot of it. So I'm happy to get it in a mystery box. Oh my God, these are so good. I love you, Thread Up. I love you so much. Everlane, are you guys familiar with this brand? I've sold Everlane sweaters, denim. I just sold a pair of men's Everlane pants on eBay that I got in a Jomar wholesale men's box, one of my best boxes ever. I do have a link to Jomar in the description below if you wanna try it. And I, these are super high rise. These might be men's too. Everlane high waist straight. No, they're women's because I put my hand in the pocket and it's a little stupid shallow pocket, which is what women get. These are awesome. These might fit me. These look bigger. They look like a bigger size. And look at the rise. So the rise is measured from right here, the seam of the crotch, all the way up. And my guess is that's like a 10, 12. So that is a big, beautiful rise. Looks like there's a little bit of wear right here. But that's fine. Aaliyah, are you watching? I know my sister and Aaliyah and I have been talking jeans a lot lately. We both just bought the Levi's ribcage jeans super high-waisted, kind of a 90s mom jean, and they're awesome. And I know she tried some Everlane. I, you know what I'm thinking of right now, friends? Yeah, I do a chatty haul. Um, how excited I get. People have been leaving these comments. I'm like, oh, I like how excited you get, or how do you get so excited? And I just love the clothes. That's one of the reasons I became a reseller, so I could go out thrifting and find things that I love and sell them to other people that are going to love them. I mean, it's just such a great gig, and I really like the clothes. Not every reseller is like that. Some people run their reselling business because they want to make money. I want to make money too, but some people aren't as into the clothes. I'm into the clothes. I'm in it for the clothes. Okay, I see some fun prints. Love it. This is a skirt. Skirts are not my best selling category, but that's okay. Look at that cute print. It's got little pockets, just a straight skirt. And this is J. Crew. J. Crew, size six. I love some J. Crew. That's adorable. And this, I think I'd call this a chevron print. Super cute. Kind of a silky tank. Um, that's cute and look at it has like an intended raw hem around the neckline and this is who what where who what where and it's a size XXL so that's awesome who what where is Target and guess what I love selling Target brands I have a video on the channel from months ago and it's like a what sold from Target and tell me if this happens to you guys but I'll be thrifting and I'm just flipping through the racks and I'm like oh I love this oh it's Target Oh, I love this. It's Universal Thread. It's Marona. All those Target brands, they make really great styles. So I don't have a problem with this like $12, maybe because it's XXL, $12, $15 flip. No problem with that. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at the, oh gosh, I'm such a boho California girl. Look at this. It's all eyelet. It's white with a blue eyelet. And look at the sleeve ruffles this is so good it's zara at first i thought maybe it was kids because it's quite small it's that baby doll style look at the hem oh a scalloped hem and then a scalloped ruffle hem listen in fall 2020 and winter 2021 there's a lot of ruffle happening ruffles on sweaters on sleeves and i'm not mad about it i love ruffles 
Did I remind you friends to stay till the end of the video because I'll go through, there's always so much stuff. I'll go through the best pieces that I know will help me make my money back on this box and that I just love. I'm loving this. It's super stretchy with a great print. And this is a dress by Ann Taylor Petite, size small petite. I don't have enough data right now on how well Ann Taylor's selling for me. I recently got a box from Jomar Wholesale and it was the Mature Women's Box. And I was like, that is perfect for me because my best selling stuff on eBay is what I'd call Mature Women's Brands. You know, you're like Chico's, Talbot's, J. Jill, Style & Co. And I got a lot of Ann Taylor in that box. It's not something I usually pick up. I sometimes will pick up Loft which is a branch, a modern branch of Ann Taylor, and that sells really well, but this is so cute. Look at this, it's a drop waist, super stretchy black and white with a drop waist and a pleated skirt. I mean, that is just like perfect. You could wear that to work, to an occasion. I just absolutely love it. I'm not sure which pile to put that in, like the amazing pile or what, but it's good. Okay, more stuff coming out of the box. I love a mystery box, you guys. Yes, I buy it for my business as a great way to keep my cost of goods low, but they're so much fun. And I often find stuff for myself and my family in these boxes, and I just love it. Thread Up has been good to me. This is a dress as well. It's a Gap dress, but it's a size 14, which is good. Gap, size 14. So that's kind of like large or extra large. I'm just buttoning it up so that we can see. It looks like it has a wrap front. I like this. So it has like a chiffon top with a wrap front. That little button is functional and a little black skirt. I mean, super cute. And I'm looking for flaws because as you know, a thread up rescue box could have a lot of flawed stuff in it. That's why it's in the box. So I'm always managing my expectations and knowing I could get flaws. I love the color combo. So it's really like a red wine burgundy and a gray. I like that. That is nice. Let me check the zipper. No, I don't see a problem. I wonder why that didn't sell on thread up. That's cute. You guys, my pile of stuff that is like the good stuff is really big. And I'm so grateful. Let's get this printy thing out of the way. What could this be? Now I'll tell you, cause I think this is another dress. I've had like the worst year of selling dresses, I think due to COVID, obviously, with people not going to as many weddings, parties, getting dressed up as much. So like this past summer, I did not sell all those beautiful dresses that I had picked up. So I'm getting a lot of dresses now, but I'm just hoping I'll save them until next year. Ooh, this is Lulu's. Lulu's is a great brand that people know. And this is a super cute dress. What a great print and colors on that one. It's a mini dress and it's small and I've got an entire overflowing bin of small dresses right now. But, you know, I've been selling 10 years and this time will be over and people will be shopping for dresses and things again. Maybe that sits around for a year. Oh, well, because here's another dress. So I better be OK with it. Okay, so this is Loft. So I was just talking about Ann Taylor. This is Ann Taylor Loft. Um, this is an extra small petite. So that's a little size. This is cute though. It's like a tank dress, black and white stripe. It's a heavy knit though. It's like a thick, stretchy knit. Like the quality on this feels really good. That is cute. You guys, there's so much good stuff. We still have all this left. Let's take a look at our box, see how we're doing. Still got a bunch of good fun stuff in there. And then I'll do a quick recap at the end so we can take a look and see how I did. But I already know this is a really good box. Like this goes into the category of awesome box because there's not even anything here so far that's like junk. Sometimes there's a lot of junk and some good stuff. That's the way mystery box goes. Oh my gosh, I think this is the same sweater. Interesting. This one's in really good shape though. Remember that J. Crew sweater from the beginning of the video? Oh, there I go, dropping the stuff in the hall. Um, this, is it the same? I have to pull the other one out. It might be a little different. No, it's the same. This one's in such better shape. Like this one looks new. So it's a lightweight sweater in the front with like a business shirt in the back. I like that though. That, that looks like comfortable and nice. Black, 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 black. 
Cabby, oh, this is awesome. Cabby, yes, that is an older tag for Cabby, but I still sell the older tag stuff. Ooh, this is cute. Another dress, but look at the drapey neckline on that. And it has all this ruching on the sides, super stretchy. My guess is this would be a really flattering dress. Like, not on me, because I'm not uh, whatever size small. I need like an extra large, but doesn't that, that probably looks really good on is my guess. So a lot of dresses, which as I said, I'm not selling a lot of dresses right now, but I just have to be patient with that. Look at the prints, oh gosh. Makes me think, when is my Stitch Fix box coming? I'm really, I've done a few Stitch Fix boxes, you guys, and it's so fun. If you wanna try it, I do have a discount link in the um, description, and it's been so fun, especially during this particularly hard time to just get a box of like fun stuff picked just for me. Styling box, this is really nice. <gasps> this is gorgeous, oh my gosh. BCBG, decent brand, doesn't resell too well for me. Do you guys do okay with it? How do you do with the brands that I'm showing in this haul? This is gorgeous dress though. It's a gorgeous print and it has, it's a layered dress. So do you see how this is like open? So it has like this layering look. You can see that I'm wearing my nice blouse because I had a client and then my yoga leggings. My entire life right now, I'm filming this in November 2020, is yoga leggings, decent top. Not gonna lie, that's what's happening over here. Maybe for you too, I don't know. I like the fabric here. This is such a classic. It reminds me of the 20s, like the linen fabrics. It's another skirt, it's gorgeous. And this one has a wrap front detail. Is this J. Crew too? It is. <gasps> size two is a little bit small of a size. And I don't know if people are really wearing these career skirts right now because most people are working from home, but that is a gorgeous skirt. I am very happy with it. Another dress, but oh my gosh, look at this cuteness. Is that not beautiful colors and print? And look at the sleeve, it's a flutter. So it's very light and it would just flutter. And then the back is all open. <gasps> is this a romper? Oh my God, it is a romper, so it's shorts. Just in case you don't know, when it's shorts, it's a romper. When it's full leg, it's a jumpsuit. So those are good keywords. This is so cute. Look at this, I wish it wasn't so tiny. This would be so fun for like Mexico or something. Might be the first year I don't get to go with Torvald and Peter to Mexico. We go every March for spring break since Torvald was three. So the last six years, not this year, Mystic. I don't know this brand. I don't know that it's anything, but, and do you see the open back? Did I show you how the back is like all open? That's great. This is definitely the dress box, which is so fun. And it, I love gorgeous dresses. It's not selling for me right now, but um, maybe that's why ThreadUp is putting all these in DIY boxes. You think? Because dresses maybe aren't selling as well. Okay, this is some, wow, wow we Look at that. Look at all the details on this. It's heavy and thick. The quality feels nice. It's Rachel by Rachel Roy, a size two. I'm getting a lot of small sizes too, which isn't the best, but this is really nice. So it's like, Look at this, it has little pockets and then the back is mesh. So this is all mesh. So you would see some of the back through there. <gasps> that's, that's awesome. I don't know, I don't ever pick up this brand so I don't know much about it or how it will do but that's super nice. Is this just all dresses? I think it is you guys. Oh well, that is okay. You take what you get and it's all good. Oh, this is not a dress, this is a tank top. Am I getting like the nicest prints? Look at the colors and prints. <gasps> love it, love it. Size medium and it's loft. Now this piece I think has a flaw, which might mean, you know what? I keep all the flawed stuff for myself. Um, it's a minor flaw, but see like um, there's a little bit of tearing on the chiffon right there by the strap. That is that is nice, love it. Kind of gives me like Lily Pulitzer vibes with that fun tropical print. What is this? Another cute printed thing. 
blue silky feeling another bell sleeve you know i love a bell sleeve a ruffle give me some crochet some lace some kind of detail like that and i'm so happy from future no idea never heard of it or seen that tag from future it's a little dress it's a little lightweight dress kind of sweet and then the back has like these lace-ups this Okay, ooh, nice. Oh, this is nice. It's a top with kind of a square neck and these puffy, I guess it's sort of a cap sleeve. Um, really cute. Feels like nice cotton. Saks Fifth Avenue. Hmm. Saks Fifth Avenue. I bet you that this retailed pretty high. These tops are really popular right now since everybody is wearing their really high-waisted jeans or leggings. These kind of boxy, somewhat crop tops are pretty in style. This sweatshirt feels like Athleta to me. It is, it might be Tencel, so soft, beautiful rosy color, but Athleta makes a sweatshirt like this, and I'm right, isn't that fun? I've sold this sweatshirt so many times. Athleta Medium, um, I don't know what they, so I've sold the same sweater. I've gotten it in teal blue, I've gotten it in navy blue, and now I'm getting this color. It has this really sweet kind of like, detail crossover detail at the hem but you know what it's gonna be kind of a funny recap because almost everything is amazing but stay with me because it'll be fun red valentino is this a designer piece red valentino i'm gonna go look this up uh this is a really gorgeous top it's missing a button which sucks because that's probably why they didn't take this it's a women's blouse really pretty coral some pleating detail and um, it is missing the button. So here's the button loop, but there's no button here. And if I was a better reseller, I would fix it, but that's not my strength. It is so silky on the inside. Um, and it is Valentino Spa, made in Romania. I'll do a little bit of research on this. That looks really nice. And this thing, what is this? Oh, a really cute top. An off the shoulder top, long sleeve with a little bow tie at the end. That's nice. And it's got buttons down the back. And it's Banana Republic, super nice. So I know that I can sell this. It's, it's trendy, it's in style right now. So I'll put this in the good pile. I'm gonna look into this Red Valentino shirt. J. Crew skirt, very good. Another J. Crew skirt, very good. I absolutely love this Zara top. Everlane jeans, absolutely. I am in love with this Meadow Rue embroidered top. And this, I don't know the brand on this, Skylar or Madison, but I really like this top. I, this has a little bit of a flaw, but I love the print. And Athleta, this sweatshirt I've sold for like 20 bucks many times, so that's a great flip. There's so much stuff here, you guys. These J. Crew sweaters. Two J. Crew sweaters like this. I can sell these pretty darn easily. A cabbie dress. I mean, there's really nothing that's not there's really nothing that's not in the good pile. Like a Banana Republic size 14 dress. I mean, this was a phenomenal box. This box had great bread and butter brands, some fun styles, current trendy stuff. Now, when I get stuff under my lights, yeah, I might find some other flaws, but right now I don't have any flaws. So a plus thread up on this box. What do you guys think? Let me know about some of these brands that I wasn't so sure about. Check out my other thread up unboxings and leave me a comment and make sure you're subscribed on the way out. Great to spend some time with you guys. I'll see you in the next fun video.